Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to talk about the importance of having solid medical tourism agreements as a medical tourism facilitator. Now, as you may know, there's a lot of different stages in the medical tourism journey that you are not directly involved in as a medical tourism facilitator. Things such as the medical procedure, the hotel, transportation, these services and many more are not directly provided by you as a medical tourism facilitator. They're provided by third parties that you do business with. And even though these services are provided by third parties and not directly by you, they can have a negative impact on your business and possibly increase your liability as a business owner. Which is why it's so important that you have solid medical tourism agreements that outlines what you provide as a medical tourism facilitator and what you're not responsible for as well. Your medical tourism agreements need to be in depth and they need to be clear. That way, if any issues do arise, you and the other parties in the medical tourism process can look at the agreements and see who's responsible for what. There should be no gray area in your medical tourism agreements. That's why I always say that having solid medical tourism agreements is the best thing you can have as a medical tourism facilitator, especially as a startup medical tourism facilitator. Now, obviously the plan is to hope to never have to use your agreements or enforce your agreements, but you wanna make sure that they're there and they're solid if you do have to enforce them. But if you're a medical tourism facilitator and you wanna make sure you're protected when you're coordinating these overseas medical trips, I'm gonna leave some links below to our pre-made medical tourism contracts, as well as my email address if you have any additional questions. But thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.